Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, this tutorial, it's a, it's a, what is, how you say this? It's a design that I show you before, but I think this is a better version. So it, it has some upgrading. Yep. So let's do that. It's going to be the buffalo or bison. And I know lots of you don't need to learn this because in your town or where you live, people will never ask for a bison or a buffalo. But I live in Wyoming and we have lots of those animals and I love them because they are so, well, they look cute. And especially if you're going to make it out of balloons. So let's start. This is a better version. Look at this picture. So those, um, that's the design I'm going to show you. And I had to make lots of them because I'm going to do a balloon arch and I'm going to attach those bisons around, well, in a couple places for uh, school that the name is Buffalo Ridge. So let's do that. Now, first, uh, I have to make lots of these. So that's what I'm inflating in using lots of balloons because I have to make lots. And for example, for the 160s white and brown, you don't need really much. It's just you know, like scraps, and the same with the 260 white. Now, oh, I want to say thank you before I forget to Diane. Thank you, Diane, because thanks to you, I, it motivates me. It made me feel that people is really enjoying the tutorials and they appreciate the tutorials and all what I'm doing for all of you. So thank you so much for uh, donating to this channel. Thank you. Now let's go in with this design. So remember, even if you don't need to learn or you don't care about the bisons and buffaloes, you are going to learn techniques. And that's a very important thing. And thank you all of you that are sending very uh, nice comments with, uh, you know, like what is good vibes and, uh, you know, with ideas or something else, you know, so people, if you um, only watch the videos, you should also uh, check that the comments because there is other balloon twisters you know and they can share their experience and or ideas so whatever i'm doing here with those ideas you can make it you know much better the tutorial okay let's do this <laughs> now finally you're going to start with a 350 350 blush and you're going to like mm, i'm thinking five finger bubble and then you're going to make a very long apple twist. So this is what I do. I squeeze the balloon and try to find the center right here in the middle. So 0.2, no, uh, 2.5 finger. So that's the middle. And there you're going to tie it. And you have this. Now you can cut. And the thing is, I'm not getting rid of this because I'm going to make more of those. So, but for the buffalo right now, you only need this. That's all. Now, let's now grab and leave it for a moment and you're just going to grab a 350 brown, mocha brown. And the other thing is uh, this design came, uh, I made it because I didn't have um, all the balloons that I used to have before. So you also have to kind of um, find what you can do with the balloons you have. I know, for example, you uh, saying talk McNulty that you only have voice colors. So trying to do it with voice colors, why not? Why not, you know, a, a, a pickup with <laughs> men's color? Like, what is those men's color, right? You never know. It's because now kids, you know, like yesterday I was at Texas Rose House for the kids' night, and lots of girls asked me for swords. So, so, so there's not really, you know, like specifically designs for boys and girls. Okay, now let's keep going. I, today I'm very distracted, but it's also because I want to go fast. I'm right now at 6 a.m. and I have to prepare this because at 9 I have to be at the school and decorate, you know. So let's do this. Uh, so it's like a, what, eight finger tail. And you're going to make like five finger bubble, another five finger bubble, twist it together. And now this is a way, but, but. I now been making already a lot of these bisons. I'm thinking it's better here from the five finger bubble. Then here you squish, make a soft pinch twist. And then you're gonna go and make five finger bubble. Okay, I think that's it. And if that didn't twist, it's okay, don't worry. Okay, now you're gonna make here like four finger bubble twist and then like two or three finger bubble because this is 350, so it's there bigger bubbles so you have a pinch twist here and you just connect this like this yep then 
from here, the other design it was, I remember, more practical because you don't need many balloons. With this, you will need more, but you will love it. It's like, so I'm super happy to share this tutorial with you, this design. Okay, so now you're gonna measure here like five finger bubble, another five finger bubble, and put it back to the pinch twist. So, and let's see. So you have this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now you're gonna grab a second 350. Yep, second 350. Yep. So now from here, look, you can um, think, you, you can say, oh, you're gonna measure five finger bubble. So this you're gonna have to get rid in a moment. But first, I wanna show you here, I'm gonna make five finger bubble, another five finger bubble, twist it together. And this balloon is a 315 plane again, eight finger tail. It's the same. This one is gonna have now pinch twist and a, a second pinch twist. That's gonna be the booty. And then from here, you're gonna grab the five finger bubble. You're gonna take the air out. So this. Oh. Okay, there you go. So you can tie it. In. And now you can attach it to the back legs that are this five finger bubble, five finger bubble, two pinch twist. And let's do this just like this. Okay, now this you can get rid of and you can use this part for another bison. So that's what I am saving it because I had to make more bison. But so I'm gonna save that. So you tie them and twist. So we have now the body of the bison. And think about this. This idea, this body can be for many other animals. Hmm? Don't you think or no? You always look something and start, you know, like thinking ideas. What do you think you can do without with this? Okay. Yeah, it can be like a very cute dog, don't you think? Hmm. Okay. Let's keep going. Now you're gonna grab a um, balloon. Uh, what is this? Um, this is a chocolate, right? Chocolate brown and a squalatex. Yep. So you're gonna inflate it. Look, you just need to inflate it, leaving a 12 finger tail. And you are gonna touch it right here to the pinch twist. Then you can start doing other stuff, other parts, but I, you just. I'm just going this way and then you're gonna make three bubbles one two and three and then you're gonna make one more one more but soft and squishable soft and squishable because this one is gonna go all the way through here and soft and squishable because we're gonna use it as a connector now we're going going back with three more bubbles one two and three so now you go back to the pinch twist and all this area okay then you're gonna make three more finger bubble i mean three more bubbles okay and then you're going three more bubbles and you're going again to the pinch twist so make sure you twist and twist and twist your balloon now you're going three bubbles and then you go tune right there. So you're going back and forward. And look, you have this. That's the hair. So it's three finger bubbles, three finger bubbles, three finger bubbles, three finger bubbles. The pinch twist. It's right there. Now, this is gonna be now from that neck right there. Look. And then from there you're gonna measure one, four bubbles. One, two, three, and four. And you don't need this anymore, so you get rid of the air and you attach it to the pinch twist. Now, you're gonna grab a second mocha brown, no, this is mocha mocha brown, uh, chocolate brown, and it's inflated to a finger tail again, and you're gonna connect it right here where you left the other one. And then you're going to the other side. So you have four this side. Now you're going to make four this side. One, two, three, 
and four all the way to this part. Okay. And when you pass it one and then two, and you have to connect this balloon right there. Look, right there. From there, you're gonna just measure a little one finger bubble, and then you're gonna make a pinch twist and make it soft. Yes, a pinch twist there, like a two finger bubble pinch twist. And then you are going to go and sew in bubbles all around, all around, and go back to this pinch twist. And those bubbles are gonna be approximately 10. 10 bubbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you have ten and you just go around and you twist it right here. Now you cut this. Don't get rid of this. Just leave like here like four or five finger bubble. Tied it and leave some tips that that's gonna make you be squishable squishable yes and then you tie is that a word a squishable or it's only my my own spanglish here <laughs> okay now i'm just locking things securing things and make sure all the bubbles are looking like bubbles and no other things uh-huh so you have this look i oh, look at this this idea also can be for those animals that, that, that they don't exist anymore. Remember those that are like elephants and have long horns and horns from here, from the trunk. What is the, the name? Mastodons. Mastodons. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, don't you think? And if you, from here you make like a, what is like a trunk view? That can be that. Okay, now let's go. Um, you will need another 260 this dark color uh, chocolate brown to make the shoes little shoes and the shoes what are the shoes it's uh well the shoes are gonna be two pinch twists and then you cut some here and i'm not doing that just because i think if you're planning to do this design you probably know what i'm talking when i say two pinch twists it's just this so that is gonna be with another uh two um another 260 chocolate brown so this is what you have to do and this two pinch and this two pinch twist you connect it right here okay so yep i had a phone call and every time you see something like what happened with the video it's because someone was calling me because i'm using my cell phone because everything i'm doing on youtube is because i have this cell phone and that's it i don't even have a laptop anymore i don't have even a tablet anything <laughs> Only my cell phone. Now, you have to do that same one more time. Two pinch twists. I already have pre-made it. Two pinch twists. And that's what I'm gonna do. So, do you remember about um, the leftovers from this, all this hair? It's just a four finger bubble. Remember, we're gonna use that four finger bubble to make it into a, let me see, a tail. So this is the leftover and if you don't have leftover from this area you will have for sure from the shoes from the third chocolate brown and you're gonna just attach it right here but before I touch it you that's what I say make it squishable because you're gonna do a bending here you bend it and you squish and then slowly push it, and it's gonna have this shape and that shape look it can be like a little bird you give me Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> or some poop, right? <laughs> okay, now you're gonna grab that and you're gonna tie it there. That's gonna help, that little bending thing that I did, it's gonna be so then the tail doesn't look straight pink. No, it looks down and beautiful. So the pinch twist also can make you help to position this body better. And it's all about, you know, you decide. But look at this, I don't know that, and it's not done yet. So remember we did this with a blush uh, 350 pew we're gonna attach it right there so now you pass it around you tie it with the nozzle or you know it's like oh, there you go look I don't 
that there's gonna be the nose and the smiley face. Now, what else from here? Okay, let's go with eyeballs. And that one you're gonna use a balloon scrap white 260, yep. And you're gonna make just like, look, two finger bubble, two and a half maybe. And then pinch, twist, or tie it like this. And then you're gonna squish the air, but not so much, just only this. It's like a, a finger without the stretching. The stretching will be like all this, but it's without the stretching, it's just one finger there. And then you're gonna make another two and a half finger bubble. Cut, that's what is on a scrap. And again, you see this technique I'm using it lots of times. Yep, it's a really cool one, I like it. Now, you're gonna pass the eyeballs through here, thing, all the way to back there. Okay, let's do that. I'm looking at my design because I'm going to look pretty. And look, oh, down there. You can squish them inside a little bit and that's fine. Now, uh, you will need just a balloon scrap. I'm using this because I'm going to use it at all. But it's a balloon scrap of a chocolate brown, I mean mocha brown, inflated. This one is entire balloon, so it's like eight finger bubble, but it doesn't really matter. You will only need like eight finger bubble of the balloon. You will see, you just have to make two pinch twists and then you're gonna attach that two pinch twist right here. Leave it there and then just go around. Okay? And when you have around you the the mouth, the this part. Mm -hmm. You twist it into the pinch twist, you curve, and you don't need any more this 160. What color is this? Mocha brown, but I will use it because I have to make more. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna tie, secure, and... Okay, now I'm gonna, look, this is what I do. I squish this part and give it some shape there. You see? So, but, um, there you go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Almost done, almost done. Now we need, just only we need here, a little, little horns, and you will need a 160, and it's just another balloon scrap, and when I say balloon scrap, it's just pieces of leftovers from other designs. So I always have here my balloon scraps, and I'm looking for some white, little, but not too little, like this will be too little, too little, or maybe not for you, but for me it's too little. So I'm just gonna use this part. Ah, my balloons are falling off. So this is an entire balloon, because what the only thing you have to do, and that's inflated again, it's like seven, eight finger tail, doesn't matter, you got, just gonna need a little bit. You look, I do this, I squish, push the air, so you have something like this, look. And that total, it's no more than four finger bubble. So from there you twist it, and you're gonna do the same. You fold it, squish, push, and measure again the same idea. Here, twist, cut, and you don't need any more uh, 160 white, but I'll do. So that's what I'm tying and saving it for the next bison. So I'm gonna make as, as many as I can right now. Now you have this, you're gonna connect it. Remember the pinch twist that is right here in the center? That's gonna be your connector for your little horn this time. I think there's gonna be a way to be more practical. And then you're gonna use the bubbles from there, kind of like to attach it and make it look you know, a little bit more stable. You have lots of bubbles there. So that's a cool part, don't you think? It's, um, again, takes more balloons, but I think it's better. I'm, I'm happy with this uh, upgrading things. So there you go, little horns there. Now this you can cut, the, especially because if it's gonna be decorating, so better make it clean, cut all the little things. And, ta-da! The bison is ready, the buffalo, uh, well, we need sharpie time, sharpie time, now, sharpie time, it's easy peasy, from here, ping, boom, like the number six, and from the other side, ping, ping, another number six, but like that, hmm? and the eyes, this is what I do, I cover as much as I can, but you know, boom, that's the only thing when you do that technique about a pinch twist, you better do it without popping or deflating when you tie so I'm, I'm already noticed that that one is losing um, 
air. So I'm gonna do this again. But what I'm doing is the technique that gets, this one I'm gonna take it out. This is like a surgery, pew pew. Let's put the new ones. And you see, and there you go. Have new eyes, yep. Now, let's keep going. What I was doing, oh, from here to the six, you're just gonna make a smiley face. You can make that much better, but this is the easy, busy part. You know, the way, this is the easy, busy way because if you want to go artistic with sharp is great because that's going to make you know like you just hang even much better whatever th simple things that you make out of a loose but this is already you know very cute elaborated design i think so um i'm gonna make this type of eyes look circle and then around i uh, just color it another circle all black I'm gonna leave that and then I like to cover as much as possible. Why? Because it looks cuter. Look, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go with the other one. I know why I well I love to live here in Wyoming and but these animals are so cute. They're like oh and, oh yeah. So it's the same idea. Look, that way to make this bigger is gonna make you feel like, look, you are enjoying the design from the uh, front, but also from the side, you still, you know, seeing his personality is looking straight. He's looking at you, you are Jack. Okay, I hope you like this design. I love it, I love it. It can be on a wristband, on a headband, on a wand, or just to hold the kids are gonna squeeze it, I love it. <laughs> Have a wonderful day and thanks so much for already be here as a subscriber because uh, can you believe we are more than 4,000 subscribers and if you haven't subscribed yet you should you should because my plan is to keep all my videos here and even if you think oh those designs are too hard if you're just starting uh, you know I'm planning to make um, uh, easy designs the most basic easy designs but the way I do it and it's because after many years doing this, those designs I learned making swords and flowers and dogs so um, those designs now you can see how fast I do it and how I do it uh, when I'm in front of people but yes I'm, I'm thinking an idea to make like a playlist that says easy basic designs the most classic ones the beginning so then if you are just a starter, you can watch those um, videos and you can learn something from there. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know? So you go um go donate to my uh, PayPal account at pataglobal at gmail.com and I will appreciate it for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.